welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I just want to say a, a quick thank you here. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for all your positive energy, your appreciation for connecting with my videos, subscribing. Uh, it's really meant the world to me and I just want to say thank you. Thank you also for tuning in today. Uh, today I want to address Mercury retrograde and I, I used to not really know about Mercury retrograde, but I definitely know about it now. So currently we are in April 28th through May 22nd. Mercury is in retrograde in the sign of Taurus. And basically the concept of Mercury retrograde, it appears the planet Mercury appears to move backward for a period of time. It does not actually move backward, but it appears to do that. And as it does, it actually affects things here on the earth. It kind of pauses or it stands still. Uh, it looks like it's going backward, but it's really more in a sleeping state. And so, you know, some of you might be familiar with Mercury retrograde. Some of you may not. Uh, but if you are aware of it, then it kind of gives you understanding about why things can get a little cattywankus uh, during this time. So I wanted to shed a little bit of light on what Mercury retrograde is, my personal experience with it, and then also do a healing oracle per sign on an encouragement on how we can, what we can do to kind of ease some of the frustration. Um, I know for me, <laughs> it's tested me a little bit this time. I'm not going to lie. For the first week of Mercury retrograde, I was just, you know, kind of like preaching about it. Like, yeah, everyone, Mercury's in retrograde. And I was seeing it in other people's lives, but it did not really hit me until about four or five days ago when my printer, which I've had and has been working wonderfully for about two years, um, right when I needed to print some very important documents, all of a sudden literally just died, just completely blacked out, gone. Uh, and it was at a time where I wasn't able to go get another printer right away and I really needed to get these documents out. So it caused a little bit of a pickle. And the next day I tried turning on that printer again. It turned on in Chinese for about 15 seconds and then it went blank again. So I was like, okay, okay, here we go. Mercury and retrograde, I, I can deal with this. Okay, that's not all. So um, I, had, I had a printer shipped to me from a family member. Turns out the printer was supposed to come in two days. It came to the wrong address. So I had to travel to go get the printer. I finally go get the printer two days later. And then literally it took me four hours to hook it up to my computer. And I, I'm pretty smart with computers. And it was just one of those weird situations where everything I tried was not working. I mean, it literally pushed my buttons. It caused me to like, I kind of lost it for a little bit. Like I've been handling it really well and I finally just got so frustrated. I had to take a walk. Long story short, it wasn't until I emotionally cooled down uh, and released some of that frustration, I actually went to the gym, that I finally figured out how to make it work. Point being is, these are the kind of odd things. It's going to affect people in different ways um, another example of this, I went to, uh, I went through a drive through coffee shop and, uh, a gal was just talking to me. We were talking about how her day was going. She's like, well, all of our machinery is acting really weird today. Like the coffee pots are just turning off and on. They're dripping. Our computer, uh, stuff is down today. And I'm like, well, you know, Mercury's in retrograde, so you're not the only one. So point being is, is that it's just interesting. This stuff really does affect our day to day lives. And the fact that Mercury is in Taurus, it is actually in the sign of Taurus because it goes in retrograde in different signs and different elements. So it's in the sign of practical, everyday earth, you know, life. And it can affect the sign of Taurus even more. And it's interesting because I'm thinking about their, uh, their May Zodiac law of attraction. The time for them is, is kind of a slow down time where they're looking internally and I feel like that might be part of the whole Mercury and retrograde thing. So 
I just want to use this as encouragement. I mean, even though I knew this in my knowledge and my headspace, I got to be honest. It's like I was cool with it. And then it just, it pushed my button so much that I was like, ah, you know, I really had to do some relaxation and meditation. Um, so just know that you, po it's not for everybody, but you might possibly experience some turbulence or disruption as Mercury is in its sleeping or resting state. And when it's in retrograde and it's going to be in retrograde until may 22nd mercury the planet uh the areas that this can actually be felt in or affected in it can rule communication so just communicating with people miscommunications not communicating exactly what you're trying to say uh it's also can affect listening speaking selling and buying contracts agreements documents uh, it also affects technology so computers, uh, transportation, so traveling, shipping, all these areas can be scrambled. And it's because Mercury is in a resting, sleeping state. So normally Mercury, because it, it rules over these different areas, it helps them move more because uh, it's a very quick and fast planet. It helps, it, it helps these areas to move much more seamlessly in general. But as it's sleeping or in this resting state, it causes turbulence or it causes things to slow down and it can create frustration. So why does Mercury, why do we feel these effects? It's because, as I've just already mentioned, it's because the planet is in a sleeping state or resting state, so to speak. The other thing that I've picked up on for myself and others, and I'm not sure if this has been for any of you, is that issues of the past seem to resurface. So this is in a way can be positive, even though it can be kind of frustrating um, in one way or on the surface, things that have not been resolved or maybe something that has been overlooked that was not dealt with. And this could be in business, it could be in family, it could be in relationships, money, financial, emotional, basically anything that's in the subconscious or practically or something that is not helping you fulfill your full potential and needs to be revisited is possible to resurface during this time. So I have noticed that if there is any area that you're feeling frustrated during this time, there's a very likely chance that there's a lesson to be learned during this time. And there's a reason why this issue is being addressed right now is because there is more work to do. So issues of the past can resurface during this time. And this will be a time for you because it's an earth sign as well. This will be a time for all of us to reassess, revisit, readdress, redo, relook, redesign. But, you know, at, on the surface, as I said, it can be frustrating, but there's lessons to be learned through this. And I'm really, you know, my human side just wants to get frustrated and throw something like the printer. I'm really trying in the more spiritual higher self to say, okay, you know what? This is all working towards my good. This is all helping me to be my best and highest self. This is, you know, all is well in my world. I'm going to relax. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to look, listen, and learn. I will slow down. Even if, you know, I've been going, you know, 80 miles an hour, this is, telling me that I need to slow down to 45 miles an hour so that I can hear and see. So what I want to encourage you is that all is well, that there are good things, there are good messages, there are lessons, there is closure that can happen during this time. And whenever you're feeling that sense of frustration, know that on the other side of that coin is an answer, is something that you did not know before and is going to help you, whatever that key is, whatever that missing link that has been overlooked is going to help you propel forward as soon as Mercury goes, you know, back to its normal self. So let's go ahead. I, and you know, I also found it fitting to do, this is nature's whisper, um, Oracle cards. I thought how fitting because Taurus is a lover of nature and earth and in this time where things are kind of cattywampus, let's just sit back and allow the beautiful messages, the Taurus energy of, you know, just kind of stepping back, being one, being 
at peace and you know stopping and smelling the roses what are the messages for each sign to help us with the energy of the mercury retrograde so that is what this oracle is going to seek and let's go ahead and get started with each sign second so this is your oracle reading for aries what is the message that's going to help aries become their best and highest self during this mercury retrograde period I have shuffled seven times, asked for divine guidance, so let's hear what the message is. Okay, Aries, so we have shift your energy, which I love the artwork on this card. It is absolutely stunning. So Aries, clear your energy the energy of those around you and the energy of your environment winds of change are blowing into your awareness in order to prepare for what is ahead begin a process of renewal this process might include clearing away the old that no longer has a purpose in your life it also might mean changing old habits and patterns that you are ready to release an example might be actively avoiding overly sugary foods if you are trying to eliminate excessive sugar from your diet. View this as a time of shedding that can be achieved with ease and grace. So I find that really fitting for this time of Mercury in retrograde. And what I feel like for Aries is that they're probably having they're probably feeling frustrated with some types of energies that are around them. And this could be people, situations, um, there could be negative energy. And Mercury in retrograde this time is kind of forcing this to, to happen because it, Aries is moving forward. And these areas are showing up more clearly and more powerfully and maybe even more intensely so that the old can be cleared away because the new is coming Aries. The new is just around the corner. And so don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged if you know that you're moving forward, you know that you have you know higher intentions, higher desires. Don't be discouraged by this time that some of these past issues are resurfacing know that there's a there's a reason for that and it's it's positive that it's giving you a clear awareness that you can say you know what this isn't working for me anymore out with the old in with the new it's really about awareness so if some of you and this may not apply for all of you if some of you are feeling kind of like brought down like kind of being sucked in by that energy uh the universe is saying shift your energy shift your focus see that you have that power to let go that you don't have to give into it you don't have to give into those beliefs those patterns those people those habits whatever is resurfacing for you is an opportunity to let go so that your new being your higher self can fully manifest so see this as a beautiful time and as you can see with this this gorgeous card beautiful creation is underway it's just a matter of time it is actually being it's happening right now so very fitting for this time all is well and if this video has helped you or inspired you i appreciate if you would like subscribe to this channel this will ensure you to get all the monthly videos the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self and as always aries thank you so much for watching and you have a beautiful rest of your day